Good afternoon. Adding aggression to any conflict makes that conflict worse. And we, we seem to be conditioned by this notion that if we didn't declare war on Germany and have the Second World War, which is, was a, basically a continuation of the First World War, then the world would have been a much well, worse place. And I think we've been conditioned to believe that because of, a, because of the 60 to 100 million people that were dead. And I, and I would make the case that the Holocaust, all the millions of people that were killed in concentration camps and, and the 60 to 100 million people that died because of the Second World War and because we declared war on Germany, perhaps would not have happened. It was a scar, it's a, it's a stain on humanity in our past. And, and if we don't realise that negotiation is the only way forward, then we're going to sleepwalk, sleepwalk ourselves into a third world war. David, do you think that you and I'd be having this conversation if we hadn't stood up to Hitler? But this is the point. It's pure, it's pure speculation. The idea that, that Hitler was invading Germany, look at the map of Germany before the First World War. The, it was massively shrunk. His borders were shrunk. All of the neighbouring countries took his land and, you know, to negotiate, to give, to give that land back to him could have prevented the Second World War. It could have stopped 60 to 100 million people dying and all of those millions of people dying in concentration camps. The idea that that, 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 that wouldn't have happened if we didn't do it, it happened. It already happened. It, it, that situation could have been prevented and it could have been reduced the conflict could have been far less worse so so we need to we need to refresh our thinking about the second world war and the first world war imagine the first world war the people were told this is the war to end all wars and ever since that we've been in perpetual war okay david are you a pacifist yes absolutely okay so uh, in other words you believe in rolling over and actually seeing uh, hundreds of thousands of people killed on your own doorstep to satisfy your ideology. Is that right? Oh, well, well, no, I wouldn't go that far to say a complete um, pacifist. I, oh, believe okay. we should be able to, I believe we should be able to protect our, our, our own country. But do you think that we should have had a missile strike the UK when we invaded Libya, when we invaded Iraq and so on, all the other long lists of countries? Should we have been bombed? Would that have made the situation better or worse? Well, it's interesting, David, that you raise Iraq because I just gave my view on that, which was it actually an egregious error of judgment and, frankly, a total clown show. And I tell you this, uh, people who are actually now bleating on about the West uh, showing its muscle, I tell you what emboldened people uh, out there who are our foes, uh, the fact that we talk about having respect for international law and absolutely displayed zero respect for it ourselves, don't you? Yeah, well, absolutely. We should, we should have been, you know, um, discredited for what we did. Um, we should have maybe faced some sanctions. We should have been public. We should have been embarrassed on the global scale. But the idea that we should have been bombed and invaded obviously would have made the situation far worse because when you add aggression into conflict, you make that, you, you make okay, that conflict but David, bigger. But, David, the, you could say that the aggression here... Uh, and I have my own views on NATO expansion to the east, and I've said it many times, and people call me a Russophile and all the rest of it. But you could say that whatever, whatever, the, whatever the reason, uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. It has territorial ambitions which are inherently expansionist. It needs to be stopped. Why? Because if it's not stopped now, it'll be China taking Taiwan next. Here we go again with the speculation. If we don't stop them, they're going to invade Estonia. They're going to invade. It's all speculation. Yeah, we but need G to be has said he wants Taiwan. This. Yeah. A lot of the people that are telling us this are the people that are going to make money out of war. We need to be aware of that. And, um, and we need to challenge that narrative. Negotiation is, is, is the only way. We have to minimise the conflict because okay. we're essentially minimising civilians, children, women, okay. civilians being killed. But That's Dave, the point. But David, I understand your point. But Xi, President Xi, has said that he wants Taiwan to be part of China. He's made that clear. OK, so we need to do all that we can to, 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 to try and prevent that happening in order to prevent casualties and loss of lives. That, that always has to be the main priority, okay. not selling weapons and, to, and basically people making money out of that kind of thing. We, we, we have to challenge it. War is not the answer, and it wasn't the answer in the First World War. It wasn't the answer in the Second World well, War. We need to grow up as a humanity and change our thinking. Okay. Well, otherwise, well, it's just going to be a Third World well, War again, and who wants that? No well, one. Well, a lot of people would find that deeply, deeply troubling, your view, David, but I'm glad you expressed it because